In an attempt to obtain more data, we decided to study the B. coloramelis, which they say does not develop cannibalistic behavior. The male amelis does not show any fear when searching for a mate. In fact, he does not display any kind of apparent courtship behavior prior to copulation. What's more, he lies in wait, chases the female, and throws himself on her as if he were really hunting her. She tries to shake off the daring male, who once on top of his conquest, won't give up. But they mate during a much less heroic period of time than their relative, the praying mantis. They need only 15 to 20 minutes. But before their time was up, an inopportune male landed on top of the lovers with evil intentions. With a well-studied hit, he scared his rival to the point that he didn't want to continue mating. Then, what happened next left us speechless. The astute male gripped his claws around the vaginal duct of the female. He seemed to hold the female's abdomen very tightly, as if he were squeezing something. We believe that he was trying to destroy the previous male's sperm pack. This way, the second male would be guaranteed that the genes carried by the future descendants are his, and only his. Later, the separation occurred peacefully, as if the male had fulfilled his duty and didn't have to worry about being reproached. Every observation confirmed that these animals are not sexually cannibalistic. To us, it's an indisputable fact. <laughs>